Our next question is, what is a profession? And in unpacking the meaning of this term, I'm going to be referring to the article, What is a Profession? by Michael Bayliss, that's in the course pack. Also, I'll be referring to the supplementary or non-required reading by Cynthia Brincat, uh, What Professions and Professionals Are, and this article is posted on uh, Nexus. I'll also be referring to the handout on the meaning of the notion of a profession, which hopefully you have in front of you somewhere. This uh, handout offers kind of a literature review on the subject, plus a bit of an exercise as well. Analyzing the etymology of the word profession, professio in Latin, one scholar by the name of Everett Hughes notes that the origin of the term profession comes from the verb to profess, which in the 13th century meant taking the vows of a religious order. Obviously, the term does not mean this today. However, Hughes points out that by 1675, the word had been secularized to mean to be duly qualified. Having the same etymological root as the word professor, which has traditionally meant a person who professes to be an expert in some art or science, a professional is someone who professes to know. Professionals profess to know better than others the nature of certain matters and to know better than their clients what ails them or their affairs. This is the essence of the professional idea and of the professional claim. It's for this reason that the average person goes to a medical doctor to have help in curing their ailments. The doctor has knowledge about how to cure them, knowledge that the patient simply does not possess. In respect to the business professions, given that many people in society don't know much about uh, complex financial instruments, investments, or about all the boxes on their tax return that they have to fill out, in aiming to preserve and grow their wealth, they seek out help from financial advisors and consultants who have knowledge about these things. A professional is not an amateur. It's not somebody lacking skill or knowledge in pursuing some activity or function. According to Hughes, a profession delivers esoteric services, advice or action to individuals, organizations, or government. Professionals have esoteric knowledge, meaning hidden, deeper, secret knowledge that's claimed by an exclusive few and not known to the general public. Because professionals have a specialized knowledge, members of the public seek out the advice and the counsel of professionals, trusting in their knowledge and in their professionalism. Referring to this specialized knowledge possessed by members of a certain profession, the professions consider themselves to be the proper body to set the terms in which some aspect of society is to be thought of. Each profession uh, claims control or a monopoly over the body of knowledge they claim to be expert in. The notion of a profession also stands in contrast to the notion of a mere occupation, which is a de general header term that includes trades, vocations, jobs, and crafts. A mere occupation is work that you do merely to earn a living. A mere occupation involves work that occupies us, perhaps in order to get, merely gain an, a livelihood or to pay the bills. A profession generally is distinguished from a mere occupation that's done merely to make a living because it typically involves someone carrying out a calling or it involves a reference to the responsibilities that generally go further than persons employed in mere occupations. To concretize fully what the difference is between professions and occupations, while all professions are occupations, not all occupations are professions. Occupations is the bigger term, while the term mere occupations is meant to designate occupations that are not professions. We might ask, is talking about mere occupations or classifying different jobs as either belonging to a profession or not somehow an elitist endeavor? Please see uh, discussion question four in the back of the handout in which I ask you this question. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to answer the question uh, and hopefully you provide some good reasons uh, for your claims. In any case, please continue on to the next video, 2B, where we'll unpack uh, Bayless's article.